who's been in hot water over how much time she's spending in the courtroom is being scrutinized again, except this time it's her staff that's the focus of an internal investigation. 7 Investigator Ross Jones live in our newsroom tonight with new developments on this. Ross? Stephen, through the years we have reported on judges who spend lots of time away from their courtrooms, but today one judge's entire staff is accused of collecting taxpayer money they didn't earn. Shouldn't you work a full day for the taxpayers? What? What? What is with? Six years ago, Oakland County Judge Ray Lee Chabot's attendance was under scrutiny. Today, it's her own employees, and some tonight have already been disciplined. All four of Chabot's staff members, a judicial secretary, staff attorney, and two court clerks, are being investigated for collecting their full-time pay, but not working full-time hours. According to court administrator Kevin Offner, the county's HR investigation was initiated after a complaint and determined that all four employees were taking some liberties when it came to filling out their time cards. Sometimes, staff would take full days off without using any leave time. In other cases, employees were working only partial days and not making that time up as county policy requires. Two of Chabot's staff members were already hit with a one-week unpaid suspension. Whether the two others will face discipline is still being determined. I think the public should be concerned. Larry Dubin is a law professor at U of D Mercy. The whole wheels of justice, so to speak, uh, that takes place in courtrooms through trials and motions. It's a very, very arduous, slow moving process, requires great work intensity that involves the judge and all of the staff that works in support of that judge. Questions about attendance aren't new in Judge Chabot's chambers. In 2011, Seven Action News documented how the judge herself spent much of her workday outside of the courtroom running errands, enjoying long lunches, sometimes not going into work at all, while cases in her courtroom stacked up well beyond state guidelines. At the time, her boss, Chief Judge Nancy Grant, said she would talk with Chabot about the issues raised in our reports. She never received any public discipline. The amount of unearned salary at issue here is estimated to be about $10,000, but the county's internal probe looked at only three months' worth of time cards. If abuses were going on long before the probe began, the total is likely much higher. As for Judge Chabot, she did not return a phone call seeking comment. There is no indication that her attendance is under scrutiny by the county. We are posting a full copy of the county's human resources investigation on our website, wxyz.com. Stephen. All right, Ross Jones, thank you for the live report.